Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Women's Safety. Today we'll see data build tool. In this video, we'll cover how to learn DBT in an easily, effectively, and a step-by-step -step manner. Okay, I will explain how to learn data build tool in an easy manner. Okay, one second. Okay, see, open any browser, search so P R A V N Pravin Kumar Bumiseti. Okay, so my name Pravin Kumar Bumiseti dot so graphy dot com. Okay, see G R A P H I graphy dot com. If you there, what app will get courses will be available. SQL Snowflake DBT. So click on DBT, it's a paid course. Okay, I'll explain how to learn. So DBT is nothing but it's a data build tool mainly for data transformation. So if you see here what happened, so go to the first topic. In this first topic, what? Introduction to DBT. You should know what is DBT, why DBT is coming to picture, what the advantages of DBT. Okay, so unlearn the project flow so that you'll get very comfortable why the companies are using DBT. This is the second, first step. Second step is what? what? We should know that, okay, one data warehouse. It can be Snowflake. It can be Redshift, it can be BigQuery. So at least one data warehouse setup need to be done because so DBT doesn't have any storage. It's need to connect to the, any of the data warehouse. Okay, that's all the thing. Okay, first you should have one Snowflake account, then one what? So create a DBT account. So see what happened. First you should create one Snowflake account, then create a DBT account, then you need to integrate. Nothing but what we want to establish Snowflake connection because if I want to do any transformation, I require data. Data is sitting where in the Snowflake. That's why Snowflake is required and the DBT setup is required. So far. So next thing is that what Snowflake prerequisite. So remember, if you want to learn DBT, so SQL knowledge as well as Snowflake knowledge required. So at least you should know the table types. What is permanent table, temporary table, transient table? Like this, you should know the same thing. And in a similar fashion, you should know Snowflake views, normal view. Temporary view, metalized views, security. You should know in which situation I use normal table. In situation I use security. So if you are able to know this functionality, you can learn DVT easily. And one more thing, SQL is required for all these things. So next one is that what? Next come to the DBT models. So our entire transformation logic will return the DBT models. Okay, see so this logic. So what is DBT model? How to call, how to refer, or how to invoke? What are the ways we can able to call the models? This is the same thing. Okay. So next thing is that what? So after model for every topic, you should do the task and prepare for intro questions. So see, these are the some intro questions are available. Okay. So then what happened? So same similar happen. One more intro question. Some videos have been attached here. Okay. So then so go to the query tag. How can you track the queries? So from DBT query tag. And one more thing. So give our customized names. This is nothing but DBT query tag and alias answer. So then go to DBC, DBT seeds. Seeds are mainly for static data, CSV data, PSV data. So click here. So we so see after completion of every topic, you should prepare, you should work on the scenario based thing and enter a question. So that what you should be comfortable in each and every topic. Okay, one more time. After watching of any video, so after watching, prepare notes, then do the task. So that what you should be comfortable so that you can able to survive or you can able to learn easily in a real time perspective. Okay. So then go for DBT sources. You should know like what is fully qualified name, what is schema name, how to access different sources. We'll go for this sources concept. Okay. So, so YAML, here also one YAML is there, source.yaml. One more important thing is that macros. Macros are mainly for reusability purpose. So define one time and make it in multiple places. So same as user defined function, user defined tabular function, the same thing can able to happen. So then what happened if you see here, what happened? So DBT macro real time scenarios. Okay, see after completion of DBT macros, we should work on this, all these macros. Okay, see. Hope after completion, you can see you can able to get your name of register. You'll get your name like you have register success. Okay. Same thing. So trim space. These are the macros. So then work on the scenarios as well as intro questions. Okay, so like so you can okay. then how to build ELT pipeline. So remember, DBT is mainly for ELT, nothing but extraction, loading, and transfer. So with the help of DBT, I can build easily the ELT data pipelines. Then go for what customization variables variables nothing but local variables and the global variables okay then go to hooks and snapshots hooks nothing but what are a pre-hook and a post hook concept snapshots mainly for acds okay acds we can able to go for the acds okay. next to go for what dbt test 
So if you see, simple thing. I have developed some logic. I have some data. But I want to make sure like my data is properly or not. How can you check by using what? Data called that word DBT test. Singlet test, generic test, see duplicates, see duplicates are there. We need to identify which the main purpose of DB test to identify the data quality, singlet test, generic test, custom then test. Then go for what? DBT packages. Okay, see packages. Okay, see there's some inbuilt to DBT products are developed by DBT labs. So we can able to use like utils package, expectation package, see code gen package. Similar fashion, what we should know the DBT incremental concept. So incremental ephemeral. So mainly these are for what? Mainly for ACDs, we can say slowly changing dimension, like streams, task, merge, the same thing. You can go with the help of DBT incremental concept. This is so far good. Okay, and strategies are that we can add work. Okay. Then ultimately, the main thing is that what GitHub. So ultimately, we have developed something. So where we should put in some some repository, code repo, nothing but GitHub we can. So we can easily integrate with. GitHub. For this purpose, what we should have one GitHub account. Then what happened? The pipelines. Okay, so you should know here what happened. Ultimately, we are developing the development instance. In real time, there will be development stage prod instance. Ultimately, our code need to be migrated to stage or pod. Nothing but deploying. So deploying our our details or anything into our prod instance. How can it be the help of the CACD colors? Colors. Continuous integration, continuous deployment. We can able to integrate all this. Okay. Then same thing, Snowflake concept, a little bit snow, because if you want to learn DBT end to end project, so compulsory should have this knowledge of Snowflake table types, fully qualified names. So these are all things you should have. Okay. Clear so far. Then you need to learn end to end project, like generally we work on middle and architecture. So see source, what the source, what the uh, like middle and architecture, like so bronze layer, silver layer, gold layer, what exactly we'll discuss all these things. Then you should learn the DBT commands like a little bit, okay, and work. So main thing is that entry preparation. So this is the main thing. So see step by step, if you go now, it's a easy and clearly you can able to learn easy enough. So go to models. So work on each and every topic. Listen the video, do the task, and you can have option. If any doubts, you can able to reach out. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.